Welcome to our lesson on stretching graphs using function notation. So we're going to begin where f of x is equal to sine x, which is this graph here. And we're going to perform a horizontal stretch using the function f of 2x. And to do this, we need to consider what's happening along the x-axis. So when x is equal to 90 degrees, f of x is equal to 1. But when we have f of 2x, we have 2x is equal to 90 degrees, so x is equal to 45. So for f of 2x to be equal to 1, x is equal to 45 degrees, which is here. So we've transformed this vertex to here by halving the 90 degrees. If we look now, when x is equal to 180, so x is 180, and f of x at this point is 0. If we have 2x is equal to 180, x will be equal to 90. So f of 2x will equal 0 at 90 degrees. And you can see that we are halving the values of x. So half of 90 is 45, and half of 180 is 90. So at negative 1, we halve the 270. So this will happen at 135 degrees. And we halve the 360 to make 180 degrees, which is here. Now we don't stop at 180 degrees because our graph actually continues. So now we can transform the next cycle of f of x to here. And we can plot these points together to give us our sketch of f of 2x. So you can see f of 2x has two complete cycles compared to f of 1x. Okay, let's move on to our next question. So do you want to try and sketch what you think f of 3x will look like? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So you can see for f of 3x, we have 1, 2, 3 complete cycles, whereas for f of 1x we have 1 cycle. So this is compressing the curve to a scale factor of 3. OK, let's try one more. So now we have f of 1 half x. So for f of 1 half x, again we'll look at what's happening along the x-axis. When x is equal to 90, f of x is equal to 1. But when we have 1 half of x is 90, we have x is equal to 180. So f of 1 half of x will equal to 1 at 180 degrees, which is here. So at this point where x is equal to 180, f of x is equal to 0, f of 1 half x will equal 0 at 360, which is here. So you can see we have half a curve compared to f of x. OK, let's move on to a vertical stretch. So to perform a vertical stretch, we need to remember that f of x is equal to sine x. And we've been asked to transform to f of x. So I'm going to substitute this f of x here with sine x. So 2 f of x is equal to 2 sine x. And at this point, where x is equal to 90 degrees, f of x is 1. But we double the 1 because we're tangent it by 2. So this 1 is transformed to here. And at 180 degrees, we double the 0 to get 0. And at 270, we double the negative 1 to get negative 2. And again at 360, we get double 0 for 0. So our 
transformed graph is a vertical stretch. You can see the x values remain the same, but the y values are doubled. Okay, do you want to try and sketch what you think 3f of x will look like? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So when x is equal to 90, f of x is 1. So we'll multiply this 1 by 3 and we'll have this point at 90 and 3. And at 180, we'll multiply the 0 by 3 to make 0. And at 270, we'll have negative 3. And at 360, again, we'll have 0. So again, we have a vertical stretch with the x values remaining the same. Okay, let's try one more question. So do you want to try and sketch what you think one half f of x will look like? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So when x is equal to 90, f of x is 1. We'll multiply this 1 by a half. So, this, so the transformed function will go here. And again, we'll multiply the negative 1 by a half. So we'll get negative a half. So this time it is a vertical compression. Okay. Thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.